Kareem here. So like, are there aliens out there? And what's the Islamic perspective on that? Stay tuned to find out. First off, every day, most of us who pray, we say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Oh, praise be to the Lord of all the worlds. And all the worlds, Alameen means everything that exists. So all the universes, all the realms that exist. In, in a sense, we could even say that we believe in multiverse, right? Because we do know that in the Quran, it talks about Sab'a Samawat. There are seven universes that exist. And this universe that we know of is still expanding. And we still don't know where the boundaries are. We barely have seen past our own toe in the galaxy. And it's just quite possible that with all the elements that are out there and the five basic elements which make up the universe and make us up is also out there and this means that there could be other forms of life that exist god knows best right what we do know for sure is that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already told us that there are jinn which are creatures or sentient beings made of fire that exist some say these are um considered terrestrial, not extraterrestrial, because they actually exist on Earth. They're just in a parallel dimension. And of course, we have angels, which are created from nur or light. And those definitely could be considered extraterrestrial because they are back and forth and they exist in the heavens as well as around us. Now, given that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does mention in the Quran that he did create things that we don't know of. And so one of the ways I like to picture this is you know, often people who don't believe in God or religion, they try to get at people uh, who do believe in God and say, you know, you guys think you're so special, human beings are so special, and look at how vast this universe is, and you're nothing special, you're just, you know, you happen to be a, a product of infinite possibility and chances out there, and that's why we're here. I see it as even more proof that Allahu Akbar, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his power and his knowledge could have easily created this whole universe around us just for Bani Adam to exist on earth. That's possible. And it's definitely not something that's going to make God tired or make him feel exhausted. You know, this is, this is contrary to how we understand who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this whole universe just for Bani Adam to exist, even if that's the case, remember, Allah is Rabbil Alameen, which means that if you were to visualize that the creation, all, everything that Allah created, including everything that we think we know about and what we know we don't, don't know about but exists, like the universe, as well as all the things that we definitely don't know about, like the unseen and the seven heavens and other creatures that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created, if you could put all of that into a book this thick, the, the, the children of Adam's story on the planet Earth is just one page. Just one page. And so, irrelevant of whether or not there could be other creatures out there, i.e. aliens, um, does that mean that humans are no longer special? I say, no. Everything is special because Allah created it. And just because we are just one page in the book of existence, it doesn't take away the relativity of our narrative that we are creatures here that Allah sent prophets to and reminders and has communicated with us. And if there are other sentient beings in the universe, perhaps Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also communicated to them and they have their own stories of prophets or prophet-like beings that also opened up the channels of communication and guidance just like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, did for us. So that's my quick uh, two cents on whether or not aliens exist. I think, you know, obviously we can't say for sure that they exist because we don't have ed evidence, but I certainly believe we can't say that they don't exist because of the points I mentioned today. I hope that was helpful, and if you liked what you saw, please subscribe and share questions and feedback. As always, appreciate it. Have a great day.